Hello everyone, this is Todd, and I am going to do, since the MP10 group is having issues with uh, adhesion, I'm just going to go through my uh, cure real quick. You'll see that this is modified, um, and you're in hand, so sorry if this is a little shaky. The uh, This is the Cura 4.4 provided Ender 3 profile. I modified the bed. Um, size on it just to fit the mp10 mini of course you also can do the same and modify it to fit the mp10 full size um for i have print cooling enabled of course i don't have support because i'm going to be printing a rock um but build plate adhesion i have a skirt i have three skirt lines that are 10 millimeters away from the object and the minimum length is 250 millimeters. That is the only thing I have. I don't have what a brim or a raft. I don't have anything like that. For my infill, because of... Uh, but I'm, I'm experimenting with different infill types. And my layer height is 0.12, which is the super quality. And it's just so that what because I'm doing this for terrain for D&D miniatures... And I am, oh, what is the experimental thing that I'm doing? It's the uh, weird infill, the way that the infill is done. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to slice this. It's slicing. This is going to take a minute, so we're going to run over. Excuse the printer, excuse the mess. Grab the SD card out of the MP10 Mini, and we're coming back. Enjoy the ride. All right. This is now sliced in the interim. Um, to show you the weird infill that I'm talking about. Zoom in here and it's the it's the infill that dent that changes density based on how close to the edge it is. So it takes it a little bit to calculate. And we're going to save to removable drive. Save this rock one. Uh, by the way, this particular rock is from the uh, Lost Adventures Kickstarter. And back over to the printer. Everything is already preheated. As you can see from the ooze coming out of the nozzle. And we're going to sit here, I'm going to hit back, print, rock one. And we are going to sit here and we're going to watch. So this may take a minute, sorry if it does. And again, you're in my hand, so sorry about the shakiness. Matter of fact, I'm going to put you on the table just to give you a little bit of stability. People wonder, you know, this has been coated twice with the glue stick. It was cleaned before this print. 
the um, um, you'll see that nothing is coming loose and that's just the uh, the skirt see it did come up over here that's not a big deal that can be peeled off that's just to prime prime the nozzle that comes with the uh, Ender 3 profile and you'll as I said you'll notice that I don't have the black layer or the, the black bottom oh, sticking material stuff that they put on it build tack it's fake build tack anyway um I killed the adhesive on mine trying to print ABS and so I removed it and used Goo Gone to remove the adhesive and I just used the glue stick and that's it. Um, when you set your offset, the more things you have between the metal and the nozzle, the higher your offset will be. You'll notice on this that this is not, you know, this is thinner than this over here. Um, that's okay. This, you know, your everything changes over time. This is just a high spot. That's a low spot. You know, those are low low spots. As long as everything sticks, everything is fine. We're not going to sit here through this whole print because you don't want to see a four hour long video of a print that's boring. But you'll notice that it will start doing layers here in just a moment. We're going to slide over to the last print that I actually posted. And that's what the bottom looks like. You can see the individual lines. They aren't ridiculously... Oh, I think my camera's trying to spin. They aren't ridiculously squished. They're not ridiculously, you know, ran into each other. Not, they are in places where there was a high spot, but overall, it is flat. There's nothing special about it, and it is all about setting that offset with um, and running the auto level routine. So, I've written this down several times by in in the group, but the procedure is to set your Z offset to zero, run the auto level routine, press the close button until it's roughly minus 0.25, 0 0.25, and then proceed to start a print. You, if it doesn't stick, which it most likely won't, hit the close button three times till it's minus 0 0.28, if it doesn't stick, stop the print. Repeat by adding, you know, adding or making it slightly more negative by, you know, say 0 0.03. Start another print. You repeat this process as you and you slowly take up the distance between the sensor on here and the tip of the nozzle here. And eventually, you will lower it down until you get adhesion that you expect. You know, multiple things can also affect this. You know, heat, um, you know, not all PLAs are created equal, some have different additives, some have additives that, you know, some have ABS in them that require you to print at a higher temperature. And you can, in you'll find that you can even like acetone smooth PLA because it has ABS in it. Because it's a recycled plastic. A lot of the times, a lot of your, you know, non-virgin filaments will end up having a lot of recycled content that uh, changes the way it works because they don't even know what's in that recycled content. Anyway, tangent, sorry. Everyone have a wonderful Happy New Year's because I believe today's January 2nd. And see you on the next one.